Get ready. Check it out. Rev it up. Pay the toll. Following the white line to free our soul. The UHS-125, we got a combo. Ha-ha. <laughs> There's no water, so they've only got sanitizer, dry sanitizer. Oh, that you don't need water for. Yep, we bring our soap and water anyway. Okay, no gimbal. I'm just showing. We're leaving the highest toilet in Australia. Yep, that's the toilet. It's the highest toilets in Australia. There's the highest point. Top of Mount Kosciuszko, and we're about to go this way. Oh yeah! Anyway, if you're over here, there's the goat track. And we came up and we stayed over here, and then this morning we climbed up here, up and around, and then we came back down, and then we went all the way around here. The toilets are just around there. And now we're coming down here, and heading back because we actually started way over there and went around. So we've done some serious climbing and hiking.
start up there and we just come down and you've seen where we've come from all the water and all that and you just look at this and it looks like something out of Mad Max there's no shade don't even see any water sources on this side unless you want to go right down into the flats there the streams could all go down in there but as far as near the pathway so far it's pretty dry hey but this is how amazing this is like i was saying earlier in the walk from yesterday's footage it's like you walk a little bit and the whole scenery changes it's like here we are to my right and i swing around and you see it there's a little lake in there if you're really desperate so yeah we got a big long open walk back all the way over there I just thought you'd like to see the footage of how barren it is on this side of the Kosciuszko. This is actually the shorter walk from the car park because it's like a loop. So the way we went was the long way to Kosciuszko and then we're finishing the loop by coming this way which is supposedly like eight kilometers from Kosciuszko. So the distances seem to be a bit iffy and not certain so, but it's roughly 20 odd k's all up, but definitely worth it. Holy crap! So up there's the up there is the cabins, and we've walked all the way down there, all the way up here. Just crazy. probably the best spot to show you exactly what we've done and you can do this in a day if you pack light if you're packing heavy like us no way but anyway somewhere above over here is Charlotte's Pass where we parked and we've come down the hill and this I don't know if you can see right there there's a pathway going up and that is the path so we went down across the streams and then started going up in that area and then we've gone up into the mountains and then somewhere behind this this hill here this mountain here somewhere behind there on the next one is where that blue lake was is it called blue lake yeah where the lake was and then from there we came around and around and around this mountain ridge and then down and then up Mount Kosciuszko, right where I'm showing this part here, that's Mount Kosciuszko, that's where we actually camped, Mount, the summit's up here, behind this mountain. So behind this mountain you can see is the summit of Mount Kosciuszko, then we came down, and then in here is the hut, in this little groove here, there's a hut, and then we came down and around, and then we're heading here and we're going to go around here it's around there and somewhere around by over there will be the pathway back up to where the car is that is a huge huge distance it's just amazing to look when you see it here because i don't even know if you can see it properly on camera like the pathways and that but we went all up that back mountain ridge all the way around back there, came back through, back through. There's another mountain ridge behind this one. Oh man, whoops, I've gone too far. There's another mountain over there that we came through. And then we crossed over and went up Mount Kosciuszko and up there and then down and ah, yeah, it's just crazy. But this is what we've been doing. And it's an awesome walk. But it is bloody hard when you have somewhere between 20, 30 kilos on your back we worked out Vanessa was just over 20 kilos I think around 20 kilos when she left the car 
and I worked out I had to be really close to 30 kilos if I didn't break over that. Only because eight kilos alone was fluid. I worked out the fluid and eight kilos was fluid. And that's not including food and all the gear and everything. It's just crazy. So when you're really heavy, then it's an effort. So we're really proud of ourselves. Hope you guys get out there and enjoy it. Okay, and it's been a long hike, especially the way we did it. Hey, baby. Oh, okay. So, yeah, we'll be happy to get back to the car. We're really proud of what we've done. It was a big ask, and we did it. Awesome. Right down there, that's the river. That's the river crossing that we crossed to go back up and start the thing. So they were, we're almost in the full circle. Somewhere over that way is a pathway going down to it. But yeah, you just see how the vegetation just changes. You see so much and it's just, uh, if you're able to, do this hike like I said you can do it in a day just make sure you got some drink and all that get here early make sure it's a nice day because um, this is the mountains the weather can change we had people whinging oh not whinging but had people making fun of us oh it's not Austria and things like that but it got cold last night and it got windy we were in the mountains and the stuff that we brought made it comfortable. So, that's just the way it goes. But you can do it in a day, it'd be fun. And you'd be a lot quicker without so much as what we got. But yeah, we're on the last legs. So next time you see me, we'll be coming out to where the cars are parked. <laughs> pathway that we went down to start, crossed over the river crossing, and then up the pathway way up into the mountains and then we went that way. Yeah, it was huge, it was awesome. Oh, I think we made it. Oh, I know you're wobbling around. Okay. Here we go. There's some information. Don't count specifically on the distances because the signs say different things. Uh, weed spraying in progress, that's what that guy was doing. Here we go. And we're at the other side. Yay! So this is nine kilometers to Mount Kosciuszko. So it's time to put our bags in the car. Yeah. It's time to put our bag, go find the car, put the bags in the car. And that's the way we started. Here it is, baby. Oh. And yeah, we've completed the loop. This is where we started. Whew. That was a big one. Oh. Okay. Let's wrap this video up. Yeah guys, wow, what an awesome journey. Whew. If you like the video, smash like, subscribe, notification bell, all that good jazz. Anyway, 
It's time for a lot of sleep. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'm Mark Shays, Exploring Australia. See ya!